I'm Kim Meredith Hampton with Hampton & Hampton Management & Leasing. I wanted to share with you today, what is your property management company worth? It's a hot topic right now, property management is hot. First and foremost though, I want to tell you, I am not a CPA and I'm not an attorney, I don't play one on TV, so all of this is just from my, our personal experience that we've had. You want to ask yourself a couple of questions before you actually even go out and look at selling your, your company or look at buying one. Um, how many properties do you have for sale? Are they assignable? And this will be on your management contract. And run a profit and loss statement. This is how things are going to be projected from this point forward. So you always want to look at your P&L. Um, pricing tips on the company. This is always such a hot topic itself. It's usually like one to one and a half times gross or people like to use the net number. They use like three to three and a half times the net. So that's just kind of give you um, an idea of that, but it all depends on your portfolio, where your company is located, what kind of properties you have. Um, so there's so many tricky things in this. Um, you have to provide a letter of intent, um, a non-disclosure, so there's all that CPA attorney stuff that has to get involved with that but um, gosh there's just so many other things but these are just some little things I think that can help you out when you're looking to uh, sell or buy a property management company I hope this helps I'm Kim Meredith Hampton with Hampton and Hampton Management and Leasing